Hi there, I'm Max from AppRe.io. In this video tutorial, we'd like to show you how to build a mobile app that uses a barcode scanner to scan a new product and save it into a SQL database. So to start, I have launched a SQL database on Amazon, and we can look at it quickly. This is a PG admin tool, and we can just quickly look at the data that I have. It's pretty simple. I got a list of drinks, tea, coffee, and so on. Right, and so the first step is to create a connection to this database. What we would like to do is we'd like to expose it via REST API. And once anything is exposed via REST API, it's very easy to build an app with that database. So the first step is to, re to create a connection. So let's do that. And I'm gonna call this my connection. Now it's a relational database, and this is the type. Now the host, so right here, this is my uh, Amazon uh, settings for my database. So I'm going to copy, All right? And let's look at the port. So it's 5432. The database name is AppreaDB. Now the username and the password. Now, you want to make sure that it works, so the connection works, we can click test, and test is successful, so we are able to connect to the database, and we can now save, all right? Now, let's go back, all right, so this is the connection we just created. So once I have a connection, I'm going to create a new project. And this new project, um, again, this is all done under API Express. Uh, API Express allows you to connect to a SQL database and expose it via REST API and the new project will do that for us. So let's create a new project. Well, I'm going to call this Warehouse API. All right, and we just created a new project. And because we've already got a connection, we can basically automatically generate the APIs by clicking New Model. And so this part, this is the part of the endpoint, the name in the endpoint. So we're going to call this Warehouse and select the connection and then the table right and then we get the list of columns so we can make some changes here if we need to but for this example we're going to keep everything default i'm going to click save right and just what happened is that we instantly were able to generate the api so we got delete get update so these apis talk to the sql database that i showed you now we also want to test to make sure it works so we're going to click test and for defined, let's say we want to get all the values, all the records. So we're going to delete these uh, parameters and click test. All right, and you can see that we are uh, getting the values uh, from the SQL database, right? So as JSON. All right, so we can look here again. All right. So this is very nice because we're able to connect to a SQL database and basically instantly expose it via REST APIs, all right? So this is very nice. Now let's build an app that will use this API. So let's go to apps, and I'm gonna create this, a new app. And click create, I already have a name, so let's use two. All right, and let's open the page. All right, and so we're gonna be using a barcode scanner here to basically scan new products. So it's going to, let's call this app. Now right here, we're gonna use, we're gonna say uh, scan, uh, and then build the app UI. So this is going to be the actual code. And right, that's the scan code. This is going to be the name and then we get a button and we get a list component so this will allow us to list all the products in the database and then you just need one item all right so this is how it looks okay so we got the UI pretty straightforward but also very fast to build so now how do we get the APIs right we need to use these the APIs that we generated just a few minutes ago 
Well, we're going to go to Create New. We're going to go to Extensions and going to select API Express Generator. Now you want to use that because this will automatically generate the API, so you don't need to worry about creating them by hand. All right, so let's select and click Generate. And this is fine for the name. Of course, you can change it, but we're going to keep it. All right, so the service is actually already generated, but for now, we need to refresh the app builder. All right, so let's to see the to see the services. All right, and we can see the services are all here. All right, which is nice. Okay, so we got the UI, we got the services. Now we can start binding the services. So let's go to data, and add the first one. And we can define to list all of them. Let's rename this to list. And for the output mapping, we're gonna map to the list and so we're gonna use the name all right like this all right let's save go back to design we would like to invoke the service on page show so we use um, page show and invoke service all right now what's nice we can instantly test the app so let's do that All right, and we can see we get a list. So this is again very neat, right? We got a SQL database running uh, on Amazon and we expose the database via APIs and now we can see the information in our app. So this is very nice. So now let's work on being able to add a new item. So let's go back to data and we'll select create. All right, and now we need to do the input mapping. Right, so this input, this is the code, so we're going to map it to the code, and then this is the actual name. All right. Now, we would like to refresh the list, right? So we'd like to, uh, once a new item has been added, so on the success, we don't need to do any mappings here, but on the success, we're going to invoke the list service again. All right, like this. Let's go back to design. Now we're going to click the button and invoke the create service. like this. All right. Now we can test again. So for example, just entering any code here, right? We're going to add the scanner in just a second, but um, we can uh, just enter any number. So we'll say apple juice, right? And we got apple juice added. And we can, of course, go to the database and we can see that apple juice was added so this works then the last thing to do is to make um, add the scan capability and we'll go to create new we're going to select service and the barcode scanner is available so this is part of Cordova so Cordova is included in every app so you get a full access to Cordova APIs so this, this service, now because it's based on the existing API, nothing really for us to do here. So we can go back into data. Now it's a device service. Okay. Now for the output mapping, we basically this text here is what was resolved right after the scan. So we're going to take this and map it to the first input, which is the code. Right. And select the button. Then we're going to invo invoke the service and barcode. All right. Now, one thing is, of course, you can't test this in the, in the browser anymore. Right? You need to test on a device because you need to launch the barcode scanner. So for that, I'm going to use an iPad and share my screen, my iPad screen, in just one second. And we'll be able to scan a QR code. So what I did is um, I created... Um, a simple QR code that you can see here. So let me share my iPad mini screen with you. It's just going to be a second.
Now, and what else I'm going to be using? I'm going to be using the app Radio Tester app. And what it does is that it allows me to, I don't need to install the app on the device. Uh, I can actually test uh, a hybrid app uh, via the tester app, again, without installing it on the device. All right. And so give me a sec here. I'm going to share the screen. All right, so this is the tester app. So you can see these are on the left-hand side. These are all the apps uh, that I've created in my account. And I'm going to click the top one, which I just created. And again, it's going to load the app that I just built. All right, and of course, we get the list. And I'm going to click Scan. All right. And now, right, and you can see that the value 98A, right, that's the value that we got resolved, right, that's the barcode that I created. And maybe we can say orange juice and click add item, All right, and here we go. So you can see we're able to scan and then add the value to the database. Now, so what I'm using is the Apri.io Tester app, and you should definitely download it. Let me show you the links. Let me stop sharing here. So if you go to the um, Apple App Store, if you just search for Apri.io Tester app, you'll be able to easily find it. And of course, same thing for Android. So it's, again, it's very nice because it allows you to test your app without installing it on a device right and you can always once you make changes you can quickly update the app and of course it allows you also to test native apis such as barcode scanner right again without installing the app on the device All right but that's uh, basically it um, so just to summarize what i showed you is we uh, connected to a sql database via api express right? we then build the app ui Right? We generated the services uh, from API Express, and then we use the services on the page. Right? Um, but let's say this is it. This is the app. So what do you do next? Is you can basically build a binary file for Android, iOS, and Windows Phone. For example, I'm going to click for Android, and it's going to be a minute or so. But it's basically going to build a file that's ready to go uh, to Google Play. Um, and it will be there in five to 10, 10 minutes, all right? Um, and the last thing I wanna mention is that once you, um, once you install the app on the device, you can also enable auto-update. So what this means is that you can push updates to the app without needing to submit the app to the App Store. So again, this also simplifies and makes uh, pushing updates extremely simple. So if you, if you like this, uh, go to appre.io and sign up for an account and build this app. And you can see it's very fast. Thanks for watching.